Within this tutorial, we're going to go ahead and bring animations from Mixamo into UEFN so that you can use them in your games inside of Fortnite. Now, if you haven't already signed up to use Mixamo, you're going to want to go ahead and sign up for free. Now, I've already got this set up, so I'm just going to go ahead and just log in. Next, you're going to want to go ahead and find the animations that you're going to need. There is a search bar up here in the top left hand corner. I'm going to go ahead and just add in silly dancing up here so you can see some of the ones that I was using. And this one right here is the one that I was actually using. So let's go ahead and grab a different one. Let's say this one right here. Next, come up here to the top right where it says download. And we're just going to leave everything as is. So just click the download button again. Once this is downloaded, we're going to go ahead and drag it into UEFN. Now we just want to go ahead and take the FBX that we've downloaded and drag it and drop it into a folder to keep it nice and organized inside of the engine. We're going to get our import options popping up. Let's go ahead and just reset to default so we're all on the same page. Let's go ahead and close down the mesh. And underneath animation, the first option we have here says import animations. Make sure that we toggle this on. That way the animations will actually come in as well. Down here at the very bottom, we're going to go ahead and just choose import. Now we're going to get a couple of pop-ups, so we'll go ahead and walk through them. Uh, the first one is just letting us know there's a little bit of an error. Don't worry about it. We can just go ahead and close this down. The other pop-up is our content browser. Now this is going to keep popping up over and over again. So I'm just going to take this and drop it onto my other screen so I don't have to deal with it throughout the rest of this tutorial. Now let's go ahead and open up the content drawer. And what I'm going to make sure is that we're inside of our folder that we've added it into. And you'll see we have a couple of assets in here. So what we're going to do is make sure that we save all right now so that everything's nice and saved. You don't lose any information. And what we're looking for is the animation sequence where the character actually looks like they're dancing. I'm going to go ahead and just right click on this. And then I'm going to come up here to the very top where it says retarget animations and choose this one. Within our retarget animations window, we're going to go ahead and choose our target skeletal mesh. So I'm going to click on none right here, and I'm just going to scroll down until I find the FN mannequin. We'll go ahead and choose this one. Now what we want to do is go ahead and choose the animation that we brought in, which in this case is this one right here with the .com at the end of it. Next, we'll go ahead and click on the export retarget assets. From here, we want to choose where we want these to go. So let's make sure that we're putting it in that same folder and then choose export. Now back inside of the content drawer, inside of our folder, we'll find a new asset that's RTG auto-generated. So let's go ahead and double click and open up this. Now within this editor, you may notice that the mannequins are a little bit different size. So to change that, make sure that you're under the asset settings up here at the very top, and then go down to where it says target mesh scale. And we're gonna change this from a value of one to 1 1.08. And now they're pretty close. Next, we need to go down to the very bottom where it says asset browser and make sure this tab is active. Now we're gonna go ahead and choose that animation that's got that .com at the end of it. Then we're gonna go ahead and click on the export selected animations. From here, make sure that you've actually chosen that same folder. And then down here at the very bottom where it says prefix, I'm gonna add my underscore just to make it a lot easier to find this asset once it's been created. Once we've got that configured, we'll go ahead and choose export right here. This little pop-up box, just leave as is and just choose export again. And if we open up the content drawer, you'll see that we now have a new asset right here with the my at the beginning of it. And this is a great opportunity to rename it. So I'm just going to get rid of all of the garbage at the end of it. So it's a little bit shorter and easier to find. Now let's go ahead and add this to our world. So let's go into our devices. And inside of here, I'm going to go ahead and open up the AI folder. Inside the AI folder, I'm looking for the character device. So this one right here, go ahead and just click and drag this into your world. You can go ahead and customize it with whatever character you want. I'm going to leave it as is. But what I'm really looking for is this section right here that says customize idle. So I'm going to go ahead and toggle this on. And now if I choose an animation, I can find the one that says my dance step. And it has a nice, easy way to find it because I've renamed it. And there it is. This will work really well. Now, once you have all of this stuff set up, you're going to have to go ahead and push changes so that you can see it in game. So let's go ahead and do that and check it out. So right now, I do want to point out that we are in edit mode and you'll notice that the character is actually dancing. So that's a good thing. If I do start the game, you'll notice that it will continue to dance as is. Now, there are a couple little caveats that go along with this. So let me go ahead and point those out. So let's run back over to UEFN. And the caveat is this down here at the very, very bottom. You'll notice that there's a custom emote. As of this recording, we can't actually add any animations to that custom emote. And if we take a closer look, we'll see why. Well, kind of anyways. And if you look, you'll notice that the greens right here are a little bit different colors. And what that is telling us is that these are different types of assets. So until that's actually unlocked or unless somebody in the comments can actually explain what's going on, I have no idea how to actually add in a custom emote animation. So there you have it. Now you know how to add in a custom animation from Mixamo into UEFN so that it can be seen inside of Fortnite. 
And if you have any other questions, comments, concerns, or confusion you need cleared up so that you can continue to create, go ahead and just leave a comment down below. We'll get back to you when we can. And of course, don't forget to be clever like and subscribe.